I'm Eric, Content Manager at The Cut, and welcome to The Cut University. Saving and investing, aren't they the same thing? It's true, they both involve putting money aside for later use, but there are subtle yet fundamental differences between the two. If you've wondered what's what and which is the best to do, then you're in the right place, save or invest. Let's explore each one. Did you ever have a piggy bank as a kid, socking away your spare change to save up for something you wanted? Saving is exactly that. It's setting aside money on a regular basis in a bank account for a short-term goal, like buying a car, a down payment on a home, or for any emergencies that may come up. Investing is putting money aside, but with a larger objective or goal. Instead of having money sitting idly in a bank, investing is putting your money in places where it will grow and increase in value, such as property or stocks. Investing is most beneficial for long-term goals, like a college fund for your kids, or retirement for you and your spouse. You can see how they are very similar and how they both can make good financial sense. But there are some key differences. Savings accounts typically allow quick and easy access to your funds should you need them immediately. It's usually difficult to get money out of your investments and sometimes there are penalties for withdrawing too early, meaning it will cost you money. There is little to no risk in saving your money. It's in a safe place, not doing anything until you take it out. But there's a lot of risk in investing. While there can be great gains, there can also be great losses. When you invest, you are often at the mercy of how markets perform. So there is the possibility of losing money and not making money. And it's constantly fluctuating. So you have to regularly monitor your investment activity to make sure you aren't losing long term. So back to the original question, which one should you do, save or invest? The answer is both. But it depends on your current financial situation and your short and long-term goals. It's best to have a plan. If you aren't already doing some savings, the time to start is now. Assess your current finances to see how much of your income you can set aside monthly. Do you need a certain amount of easily accessible cash within the next one to five years? Start your savings plan. If you don't need to save for a car, a home, or any other tangible short-term objective, you should start a rainy day savings plan for emergencies or those things that pop up unexpectedly. An example is when the toilet floods and you need cash to pay the plumber. Having cash on hand will take some of the sting out of the unexpected. What are your plans for the future and your family's future? If it involves not working after a certain age, aka retiring, get your investment plan going. When you invest, you go from making money to making your money work for you. At this point, you may be thinking, this is a lot. And to be honest, it is. Although money at its core is nothing more than a tool used to quantify the value of a product or service given in exchange for that product or service, money is so much more emotionally. It's what many people hang their hopes and dreams on. It can be a sore subject between friends, families, countries, and more. And while saving and investing can be done together, they can work against you if not done correctly. You may be great at investing, but don't have anything or enough set aside for emergencies. You may decide to only save because it's easier. And based on your needs, you prefer to be liquid and not have your money tied up until the future. But if you don't, you probably won't have enough for retirement or college because it's not growing. You may decide to not do either one because the thought of trying to figure it all out is overwhelming. But here's the thing, you don't have to go it alone. No different than the way your clients come to you for that dope cut to look great, you can enlist the help of a trusted and reputable planner to help you figure out your savings and or investment strategy. A financial planner can help you assess your current situation and create a plan that puts money where it needs to go to best reach all of your goals. A financial planner works for a specific institution where they typically use that bank's products and services to help you reach your goals or they are in the business for themselves. And in this case, they use multiple products and services. One is not better than the other, but please be cautious. It's easy to be influenced by polished influencers on social media. What you need is social proof. Do your research on financial planners. Ask around and get referrals from people you trust. Or do it the old fashioned way. Take the time to teach yourself. There are more than enough books out there to help you accomplish your goals. Most importantly, breathe and be patient. Don't focus on what you should have done or could have done. The past is the past. Starting now will always be better than not starting at all. This one was packed full of information. Thank you for sticking it through with us. The goal of investing in savings is for your hard-earned money to work for you so that you can experience the true wealth 
that you and your family can benefit from for years to come. Again, thanks for hanging in there with us. Our next course gives you the ins and outs of life insurance. Life insurance covers you in the event of the unthinkable. For more on that in our next video. Thank you for watching The Cut You. Hit the link below to download The Cut and start your 15 day free trial today. Join the other 10,000 barbers who are actively getting discovered by new clients and managing their schedules and transactions. Please hit that subscribe bell, like the video, and share with someone you think will benefit from what we've shared today.